channel. Today we do a little Halloween fishing. I got this guy here from Horseshoe Custom Tackles and those guys hand paint or airbrush those baits by themselves and I thought that's pretty cool to do a little bit Halloween fishing. Some of you guys noticed those ponds maybe from that frog fishing video I posted a couple of months ago. Kind of link that down in the subscription. Those ponds here have some monsters and today we try to catch one. Oh. Oh, was someone jumping? Oh, oh, don't do this, don't do this, okay. Well, let's throw our little skeleton dude a little bit. Right in your face, bro. Sorry about that. Oh, got a fish. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Small one, but we got one. There we go. First fish of the day on the Halloween bait. Those are sticky hooks, my friend. Whoa. Put new line on my reel last night. That's awesome. I had line already back at home. I bought it already, but I forgot the whole time to put it on it. Like this new braid now, so we maybe have some, some complications. You want to have your spool always filled up because that reels, especially the better ones, they're so balanced and dialed in that if you don't have a full spool on it, you don't have that casting distance and that feel to it as you have with a full spool. You always have your spool filled up. Uh, if you guys want to see like a video how to spool a bait caster or how to spool a spinning reel, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Okay, let's move on. Don't spend too much time here. Okay, so far got one bass, not a big one. We're gonna go over there now, and then I think I fished that one spot there over there. And then go back, maybe do a couple casts in the front where we started. Go back to the truck, and then I have two or three more ponds I'm gonna fish today. So let's go. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, a lot of grass. I don't know. Oh, I think this was a lot of grass. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> that frog. I'm not sure if I filmed that, but I got this one on the frog. Here we go. Ooh. It's a really ghosty color, so I think we can count this. Ooh. So the bite is definitely pretty slow this morning. And that's weird because conditions are actually pretty good for reaction bites. Like for top water and for like moving baits. A little bit choppy sometimes, but still good for, that's actually pretty good for moving baits. This right now would be maybe a little bit too much for the frog, but it should be actually good for moving baits. Just not as good to throw the lure. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, it's on the video, but I was fishing that frog so slow. Oh no. I don't even know where it's stuck. Oh, there we go. Got my lure back. So in situations like this, always stay patient, don't rip too hard and try to figure it out. This took me now like, I don't know, 20 minutes. I used my frog, it's always good to have your frog hook with you with 65 pound braid. Used my frog, took the tail off, flipped the hook around and then I fish it out. Now I tie up everything new again and then we keep fishing. Now it's all set. Oh, I thought I had a bite, that would be... Oh, it's grass. Or something. Probably a big stick. 
Good. Oh, a bunch of grass just. Good I tied a new leader on because there was a little dink in there. Like a little twist from that one time when I got snuck with my frog on it. So fishing is pretty slow today, but I don't give up. We're gonna pond hop today all day if we have to. So let's go and check out the next pond. Maybe we catch someone there. Yo. I think that people behind me in the car tried to buoy. That's a German slang word for Iku. But then Chipper came up with his fishing rod and said, nah, not today, not today, bro. Try to catch some fish here. Get your wiener back in your pants. Pond number three. Let's see if we can catch some here. Would be nice. No trespassing. Sorry. I think all fishermen agree. If you see a sign that says no trespassing or no fishing, that means actually you need to fish here. Awesome fishing. I'll go down here quick. Oh, here's actually the watermark. Ah, oh, that's probably awesome with this fish. When the water level is that high, it's like that nice edge. Mm. Oh, finally. Yes, sir. Finally got one. Camera not rolling, of course. Here we go. Lots of grad skis here. Try to work my way around here quick and then if you don't catch anything, I have another pond, we go to fish. I actually don't want to fish right now for that video because I fished already the last video there. But it would have been biting good there. So, since we didn't have really much luck in the last <laughs> three ponds, I think that's smart to go there anyways. In the last couple days, any day, anytime we had this condition here, so like cloud cover, a little bit windy, I did really, really good on the other pond. Oh, I thought that was a fish. It's just grass. Oh, that's a green grass patch. Maybe I have to throw that way again. We see. Oh, move on. Oh, a ducky. I think it was here somewhere. Where I had last time such a luck, but I don't know anymore because Last time when I was fishing here, there was less, like a stick in the water and I fished around that stick and that stick is not there anymore, so I don't know. There's definitely still a lot of grass on that pond. Everywhere. I guess I found that stick. Okay guys, I guess that's the end of the Skullbill challenge. I broke it off on a stump over there. 
I was trying to fishing around. I knew there was that stump in the water, but right now because the water level, I can't see, couldn't see it anymore. And bing, I got snagged on it. Yep, I tried it for like 15 minutes and there was no way. So I pulled it and it broke off. Sorry. 